Hey friends, today we're in the kitchen and we are making a hot dog chili, also known as chili sauce. Now this is a really easy recipe that is full of flavor and is used to put over hot dogs or you could just eat it as is, do it whatever, you know, you like. All right, let's get started. I have got all my ingredients for this recipe. We're using lean ground beef. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a se second. Some tomato sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. Please tell me I said that right. Ketchup and water. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep our ground beef. Now I'm pretty sure most recipes are gonna say to ground your ground beef, but I'm not doing that this time. I'm literally just going to <laughs> stuff my ground beef into a heavy bottom pot and i'm using lean ground beef because i'm not going to drain it i'm just going to cook it in the pot then i'm going to add about two cups of water you could do beef broth or chicken broth if you like but for this recipe i'm just going to use water and i'm going to mash this together before i brown it now if you're wondering why i'm doing this the fact is is that Doing your ground beef this way is going to allow it to be, let's say more ground and refined. Usually when you're grounding your, browning your ground beef first, it's gonna have different kind of chunks. And for this kind of chili, I want it to be really fine because I'm gonna put it over my hot dogs. All right, so this looks pretty mushy, but we're gonna cook this ground beef in the water until it browns. And yes, it still will brown. We're cooking it over medium high heat. And whenever it browns, we're gonna come back and add our ingredients. And we are back. And like I said, that meat has browned. There are a few bigger chunks because I wasn't stirring like I should have, but this is pretty much the texture that I want for my chili. All right. And I'm going to add my other ingredients. I'm adding about a half a cup of ketchup. I'm going to guesstimate this because I don't feel like measuring it out. Some chili powder. Ooh, I made a mess. I'm going to do a whole tablespoon of just regular chili powder. Gonna do about a teaspoon of that Worcestershire sauce. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of dry mustard. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to do the same for our salt. <laughs> and then we're just going to do a quarter a teaspoon for our cayenne pepper. I'm also going to add in a whole can, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And I'm going to stir this and I'm going to reduce the heat down to medium low because I just want this to simmer and make those flavors kind of combine together. All right, so as you can see, this is already looking good. Well, it looks like the stuff you get from a can, but we made it from scratch. Anyways, we're gonna let this simmer on low heat for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, we are ready to use our hot dog chili. And today we're gonna make these Carolina style. So to do that, I'm gonna start with some mustard, just regular yellow mustard. Oh, and I've got my hot dogs already cooked. I made mine in the oven. I have a recipe for that on the blog. It's a lot of mustard. Oh. And then we're gonna take that hot dog chili. We're just gonna pour that over. Ooh, just a little bit. I should add a little bit more. I like it smothered. And then some delicious creamy coleslaw. Use this spoon. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Making hot dogs, Carolina style. Cause I live in Carolina. And I love onions on my hot dog. If you're not an onion person, leave it off. Don't come talking about me about these onions now. All right. And here is the perfect 
hot dog with my hot dog chili. Time to take a bite. So hope I don't make a mess. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to find some chips and finish this hot dogs. Find the recipe over on the blog. Until next time, y'all.